Hello Travel Box, we're John and Ari, and for this video we chose 11 of the worst reviews of the Rio Palace Punta Cana to compare them with our stay to see if we agree with them and help you decide if this is the right Punta Cana resort for you. This review reads, there are only three pools, one is adults only with a bar and one is for volleyball, leaving only one for everyone else, forget about finding seats in general or less so, seats that are covered. The description of the pools is accurate, so we agree with this reviewer that families have pretty much only one pool option. The pool has a good size, so we never felt it was crowded, even though it was busy. At check-in, we were told that the hotel was at total capacity and we had no problems finding lounge chairs, either shaded or under the sun at any time of the day. This reviewer gives the hotel the lowest possible score and says, What a horrible hotel, awful service, the food was gross, our AC and toilet didn't work for four days, and no one showed up despite multiple calls. The purpose of this video is not to negate a bad experience someone might have had, we can just compare it to our experience and in our case, everything in our room worked great. We did have to call maintenance on our last day because our door wouldn't open. They came within 10 minutes and changed the batteries of the card reader and we were good to go. This guest complained about the entertainment, saying that the hotel's entertainment is a game of Kahoot quizzing you on other Rio locations. If we had to pick just one thing Rio does well is entertainment. We stayed at the Palace Punta Cana for two nights and on our first night, we went to the white party in the Rio Party Complex. This was the most intense, fun, and entertaining party we've experienced in any Punta Cana resort. There was never a dull moment in the entire night. The party was well designed by Ryu, and every 15 minutes or so, something new was going on. There was a juggler, go-go dancers, foam in the pool, people on stilts, an aerial skill performer, white balloons, and many more fun things. On our second night, a trivia contest took place in the theater, but it was just a pre-show. The night's main show was a group of three local singers called Il Divo. Their voices were stunning, and their song selection was perfect for the crowd. They are, without a doubt, the best performance we've seen in a Punta Cana resort. This reviewer booked their trip for their son's 11th birthday because of the water park that is advertised. The water park isn't on the resort. You have to walk 5 minutes to get to it because the resort doesn't offer a shuttle service. The Splash Water World is indeed not on site, and it takes about 10 and a half minutes walking briskly to get there. Five hotels share the Punta Cana Rio complex, and some amenities, like the water park, are common to all. We found it unusual that there was no shuttle service to drive you to Splash Water World, since it's not that short of a distance to walk especially if you plan on going multiple times during your stay and traveling with kids. The park is really fun, but they should include a shuttle service for further away hotels like the Palace Punta Cana. This reviewer labels the Palace Punta Cana as a horror hotel. They go on to say that since you can't drink the water here, meaning the Dominican Republic, they ask for bottled water and that the hotel doesn't have a bottle of water anywhere in the resort. You need to walk to the front desk and order it to your room. Please keep in mind that while it is true that you can't drink tap water in the DR, the hotel will always give you potable water to drink. Some hotels give out bottled water in the bars, which is wasteful. They also mention the lunch restaurant and say it is absolutely horrible. No utensils, no napkins, and plenty of flies around the food. We did not see flies around the food, but did notice that the table waiting service was slow to turn over tables, and we had to walk around to find a table with already set napkins and cutlery. We're picky when it comes to poolside restaurants. Many people enter the restaurant dripping water from their bathing suits, making the floor icky, if not mopped regularly. The Rio Palace Punta Cana needs to do a better job of keeping the floor dry to avoid the appearance of a grubby restaurant. 
If you found this video helpful so far, please tap the like button to help us reach more people on YouTube. This review says that the staff is rude. While not all staff members we interacted with at the Rio Palace Punta Cana were the friendliest, the service was generally friendly and attentive. In our review, we scored the service at this hotel an 8 out of 10. This next reviewer complains that the hotel only had cheap liquor and not premium liquor throughout the resort. True. However, this is true of every resort unless it is a premium property. You shouldn't expect all you can drink premium liquor for the price you pay at the Rio Palace Punta Cana. It just wouldn't make financial sense. Some hotels have premium packages where they upgrade the quality of the alcohol they serve you, but this, of course, costs extra. They go on to say that they were told no reservations were required for the specialty restaurant. However, when they would go out to dinner, they would turn them away if it was full. When we went to Luigi, the Italian restaurant, on our second night, it was packed, and since specialty restaurants are first come, first serve at the Palace Punta Cana, we had to wait for a table. We were given a pager which buzzed in about 15 minutes, indicating our table at Luigi was ready. One thing to remember in hotels that do not require reservations for dinner is that from 7 to 9 p.m. the restaurants are busier, so you might want to go earlier or later than that if you don't want to wait for a table. Hotel restaurants usually have a fast rotation of diners, so waiting times are not very prolonged. This review says that the hotel needs a once-over. We were impressed from the moment we laid eyes on the Rio Palace Punta Cana building. The hotel's name is spot on since the grounds and the architecture make you feel like you are in a palace, especially the lobby. The vegetation is lush and exceptionally well groomed. The gorgeous garden between the lobby and the beach gives a European palace vibe. The buildings are well maintained on the outside and the inside. On the other hand, we think the rooms could do with a little renovation. This reviewer says that the gym was bad. The gym is small and suited only for basic workout routines. We also felt it was warm, were unsure if the AC was on. We know most of you don't use this facility while on vacation, but to those who do, come prepared to find a not so good gym. This review reads that you have to turn in cards that the hotel gives you in order to get pool towels. Thankfully, this is a dying trend, but we wish to see it buried. The sooner the better. Some resorts give you towel cards when you check in, which you can exchange for beach towels in the towel huts. When you check out, you must return the cards at the front desk, or they'll charge you a certain amount for each unreturned card. While this helps hotels keep better track of the beach towels, this is outdated and cumbersome. Most resorts have simplified this system. You can grab beach towels without towel cards. You may grab as many as you need and replace them as often as you need. This method is much more convenient and worry-free. This reviewer complains about the weight people not being around. The opposite caught our attention at the Palace Punta Cana. There are not many bars in this hotel, but wait people are always making rounds taking drink orders throughout the property. Now click on this video to watch our honest review of the Rio Palace Punta Cana.